Hey, AD, how did you guys rally from last night and all of the emotion, everything you went through and getting in late and then coming out in the way that you played in that first half uh, towards those 81 points? Um, oh, man, that's crazy. Um, but, you know, obviously it was an emotional night for us last night. Um, I wasn't able to get the win. Um, and coaches came in today and, and told us, you know, last night was an emotional game for us and this night let's get the win. And so um, we came out with a lot of energy. Um, knowing they just get back in the win column and we haven't you know our mantra's kind of been like not to lose two in a row and we didn't even think about that you know coming off the road trip and losing to Philly and then you know losing last night but um, you know we just came out with a lot of energy uh, played great defensively in the beginning of the uh, game in the first quarter and you know got on transition and when AB kind of carried us to that first quarter you know very hot from three so um, you know we played well tonight I know last night was just so unique with the pregame trip and everything. Tonight, of course, they did some really nice things as well. How did you guys still keep your kind of level of focus, and how was that different, if at all, from last night? Um, it was different because we just didn't, you know, know what's coming. We kind of knew what to expect, you know, when the tribute videos and everything was coming last night. Um, not sure what their plan was, but they had a lot of uh, Kobe videos too. But um, you know, we just tried to stay locked in and just do what we could to get the win. Did you, uh, you guys have 81 points at halftime? Did the Kobe connection occur to you? No, that's what I just said when Mike said we didn't, didn't even know. Um, I don't think no one in here kind of, you know, um, caught that, but that's um, yes, he's with us. Yeah. Idiot. Uh, in, in other words, <coughs> the 15th straight win against a Western opponent on the road in their building and it hadn't happened before in the NBA and going even way back to that season opener. I just wonder what that means, if it anything, and, and your level of focus against these Western Conference opponents. Um, you know, we don't have to get through every one of these teams, you know, maybe three of them. Um, you know, we just want to make sure that we you know, lock in on the road, no matter what it's Eastern Conference, Western Conference. Um, I think we see these guys a lot and um, he's going to be one of these teams going to be the, well, a couple of these teams, the teams that we're going to see in the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's good to, you know, get wins on them. We just kind of um, feel good about ourselves going to any any series. But, um, you know, no one's, like I said, no one, you know, caught wind of that. But we just try to go out and, and be as, as dominant as we can um, every night, um, no matter who the opponent is or what conference, and come out and get the win. After kind of waking up this morning after the loss last night, what, what emotions were you feeling? Sort of restlessness to get back on the court tonight or, or a little, maybe a little anger, uh, motivation in that way? I think it was just, you know, eager just to get back on the floor and try to get a win. Um, like I said, last night was tough on everyone. Um, some guys said they don't even think it, was, it felt like a game. Um, but, you know, we were all eager to play tonight. Um, and just try to get a win, just get back in the win column. Yeah, there what a lot of Lakers did? fans here tonight. How nice was that just with the emotions running so high? Um, it was very nice. I mean, our fans travel a lot, so, um, you know, we didn't expect anything less from them. But, you know, heard Kobe chants um, all night, which is great. And, you know, Sacramento, you know, paying tribute to him as well. So, um, it was a nice night. So, like a home Frank game? Uh, every time we go on the road, it feels like it's a home game for us. Frank, you had a really efficient game in less than 30 minutes tonight. Was that just the way it went for you tonight? Things were going good, and you were 10 for 10 for the free throw line. Um, yeah, I just try to pick my spots and make shots that I know I can take. Um, you know, the guys do a great job of getting me the ball in, in spots that I'm, I'm most effective. And, you know, as far as free throws, just going to the line, taking my time, and, and knocking them down. At the last second, was this pretty easy for you to just get back to it? playing basketball? Did it feel like it was just another game or was it still something? Well, it was a game that we, that we, you know, we wanted to win, you know, to get back in the win column. Um, like I said, we, you know, went through the hardest part last night and um, tonight was, was more so just trying to focus on getting the win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+.